Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the fourth estate, uh, we are uh, pleased to um, give you a few hints of uh, what is happening around here. This is uh, a meeting which has been uh, organized jointly by uh, Anti-Corruption -Anti Authority, Anti-Corruption Commission, together ESCC, together with the JLAC, that is Justice Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly. We are here to compare notes. As you know, uh, National Assembly, by virtue of the Constitution and the statute law, is the institution that oversights matters of corruption uh, in our country. The committee that the standing orders have given that mandate is Justice uh, JLAC. And this is why it is important that uh, from time to time we have regular meetings in which we are able to understand each other on the efforts that are being done to accomplish this mandate. We are here with the commissioners and the secretariat of the commission we are here with the members of uh, JLAC, uh, and so this is um, institution, this is uh, uh, synergies, we can harmonize synergies uh, to be able to execute our mandate. We must say that uh, the Anti-Corruption Commission has made certain steps that every Kenyan can see towards the achievement of their mandates under the law. You know, for example, that uh, so far, a, a lot of people, the ones that uh, you in the fourth estate call the, the fat cats, uh, the big fish, like us, uh, like me, uh, have faced the law in equal measure. Uh, if you think about the leadership, whether political class or whether in the executive, or in the county leadership, you have seen many of uh, instances in which uh, they have been brought to law, they have been uh, investigated, and files have been processed to the prosecution people um, who have taken them to court. Um, the process of prosecution, investigation and prosecution and conviction is a teamwork. It begins from the people who gather the evidence and who study and analyze the evidence. It also goes to the people who can present that information to courts of law. And then it continues to the people in the judiciary to process that information and be able to secure a conviction or an acquittal. Uh, we should not all, always be thinking about convictions. Acquittal also is a process of law that uh, makes a, a closure to specific things that have been committed. And so when we are here, uh, the public would really wish a lot to be done by the Commission. But as you know, it is a chain of events. So we are trying to find where this gap, where there is a gap, and put it together so that that system can work seamlessly. Um, um, abnormal circumstances which we have now made a norm this is the COVID era and uh, it has impacted on all of us including the people who are involved in investigation these protocols if you follow these protocols the work of investigation become very difficult and very slow and very laborious uh, and uh, these are things which we had not seen before. So we have also come to see how under such pandemics, because pandemics will occur, probably this is COVID, another will come in another form. We want to see if we can uh, have legislative framework of how to deal with the uh, issues under uh, such pandemics. Um, we are meeting for after a very long time. In fact, since COVID hit, we had not had a meeting. So we are trying to put our heads together to be able to do this. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is all that uh, from the National Assembly we can say. 
let me allow the chairperson of the 